From the two worst-behaved children in China who set this poor guy's car on fire, and one lucky man who survived having his car crushed by a falling crane arm, to a minibus driver in Qinghuan, China who needed a quick place to park, and much more. Here are some of the most extreme moments caught on CCTV camera. February 6th of 2016 was a life-changing day for Mr. Zhu. It was the day he decided he hates kids. It began as a normal afternoon in Guizhou Province, China. Zhu drove out to grab some groceries and planned on cooking a nice homemade meal. Before he got started, he smelt something burning. It wasn't the stove, and it wasn't his oven. Oddly enough, the smell was coming from outside. When he looked, he saw his car was on fire. CCTV footage shows what happened when he walked away. That's Mr. Zhu getting the groceries out of his trunk. People pass by, all seems normal. He heads inside to make dinner. His biggest mistake was leaving the windows down. Two children show up and light a firecracker next to his car. They slip it through the window and run away before it explodes. But instead of exploding, it just catches on fire. Smoke pours out the open windows. A time lapse shows it slowly burning the roof. It's amazing how many people passed by without stopping to help. About 10 minutes later, Mr. Ju sprints outside. Look how black the windows are when he opens the door. He heads around the other side to smother the flames with his jacket, but it's useless. Somehow, he makes it worse, and Ju takes off running. He returns with a buddy and they try to fight the fire, but their little extinguishers are no match. Finally, the fire department arrives and ends Mr. Zhu's horrible day. Chinese officials were able to track down the kids who started the fire, but we can't say for sure what happened. Let this video be a lesson in parenting. Don't let your kids play with firecrackers. In the prefecture-level city of Fuzhou, China, a local man just wanted to ride his scooter. It was parked next to an innocent-looking car. Little did he know, he was about to run for his life. In slow motion, we get to see what happened inside. It looks like something burst, which caused the car to spontaneously combust. The pressure blew out the windows, sending glass flying toward our scooter rider. Thankfully, he ran away without getting hurt. According to reports, the fire spread to another car before the fire department arrived. The exploding car's owner said that there was something wrong with the AC. It must have malfunctioned on an extremely hot day. In February of 2023, two powerful earthquakes devastated Turkey and Syria. First, a 7.8 magnitude tremor struck southern Turkey. The next was a 7.5 magnitude about 59 miles southwest of the first. When you're talking about deadly earthquakes, 59 miles is basically next door. CCTV footage shows what it looks like when two historical earthquakes happen within hours of each other. This first clip comes from Karamanmaras, a city of nearly 400,000 in the Mediterranean region of Turkey. Our camera is perched on the outskirts overlooking the city. It was about 4 a.m. when the earthquake struck. Lights flicker as the camera shakes. It looks like a lightning storm going on in the background. Transformers explode all over the city. After a few more seconds, the whole place goes dark. In Adiaman, a city of about 260,000, CCTV footage inside a market shows how powerful the earthquake was on the inside. Debris falls from the ceiling and items topple off the shelves. It looks like the shop is on stilts by the way things slide on the floor. Eventually, a shelf topples over, adding to the mess. Cameras outside the store give a street-level sense of the earthquake. Look at all the unique colors as lights and electrical components explode. The Turkish earthquakes were devastating. They impacted close to 18 million people between Turkey and Syria. Tens of thousands lost their lives, and many more were injured. Millions lost their homes, businesses, and loved ones. You might remember the food, pool, or room whenever you stay in a nice hotel. Well, if you were staying at this hotel in Qingyuan, China, you'd probably remember the lobby. At least, what was left of it. It was a quiet evening a couple of days before Christmas. 
The hotel had a tree up to make celebrating tourists feel at home. A receptionist was waiting behind the desk when she saw some headlights through the glass door. They kept getting closer and closer and closer. A minibus slams through the glass and smashes into the front desk. Our receptionist has a fraction of a second to dive out of the way and avoid serious injury or worse. From another angle, you can see how close she was to getting crushed by the bus. Papers go flying and dust rises toward the ceiling. Our driver kicks the door open and steps out. He hobbles around, likely shaken up after crashing. We cannot say for sure if he was drunk or under the influence. He may have just lost control. He sits for a moment and then stands and walks around a little jittery. Thankfully, the receptionist only sustained a few scrapes and bruises. Police detained the driver, though we can't say for sure what happened next. The luckiest man in China lives in the prefecture-level city of Zhuhai in Guangdong province. We don't know his name and we don't know his backstory. What we do know is he is lucky to be alive. It was a little after 8 a.m. on October 17th. A man and his Audi were likely heading into work when something massive fell out of the sky. Bang! Just when the Audi inches forward, a giant crane arm falls from the sky and crushes the hood. The car is pretty much flattened like a pancake. There's no way anyone inside could have survived. Then, by some miracle, the driver climbs out. He looks around, probably wondering, is this heaven? Other people come to his aid. Our Audi driver climbs through the broken windshield and sits atop his car. Another angle shows us what the accident looked like at street level. One inch closer, and our driver wouldn't be alive to tell the story. Rescue workers took him to the hospital where he was treated for a broken ankle. All in all, it could have been much worse. There's a tiny shop in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. It's owned by a man named Anand who's been selling bags and shoes for several years. He had seen plenty of crazy things in his life, but nothing like what happened on February 28th of 2023. Anand's store is across the street from the local police station. According to reports, a peace committee meeting was going on that day. One of the committee members arrived on their tractor and parked it outside Anand's shop. About an hour later, the tractor began moving on its own. Our shopkeeper is crunching numbers at the register when the tractor starts moving. It pushes a bike and the sound gets his attention. He goes to the back to grab someone else. Meanwhile, the tractor shakes and jiggles in the window. The shopkeeper comes back and opens the glass door. He runs around the tractor to try and stop it, but he's too late. Glass shatters and the employee in black ducks for cover off camera. A man in white, who we believe to be Anand, runs out nearly slipping on broken glass. He leans over and applies the brakes. Finally, a man in orange hops into the cab. The video cuts, so we assume he pulled the tractor out. He was either the owner or knew how to operate one of these things. Anand sued the tractor's owner for damages, though nobody knows how it started on its own. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.